hello friends welcome to my channel today i am going to show you uh, the installation of rain point uh, irrigation system it's a smart one uh, means it's connected to wi-fi and it's a uh, irrigation pump for it has irrigation pump and kit for uh, indoor uh, indoor plant irrigations uh, they don't say anything about outdoor plant um, outdoor system uh, but uh, I don't know if you can use it uh, for outdoor use but make sure that water doesn't go, uh, get on it so be careful on that if you want to use it for outdoor but this is for mainly for uh, indoor use and it has a, uh, a like if you have bucket of water you put bucket of water and you can schedule it and monitor it for, uh, the uh, <coughs> uh, um, schedule it to uh, pump the water uh, to your uh, plants i purchased it from uh, amazon for 59.99 i believe yes <coughs> and um, so today i'm going to open it and um, install it so i'll show you the full video of this let's open it friends and and as i mentioned this uh, it connects to wi-fi so you can check and also they mentioned like when the water level uh, in the bucket like where is whatever the source water level that is um, low it will give you an alert so here is some instructions make sure you read the instructions before you use, use it so instruction manual i'm gonna use it warranty register and quick start kit and a lot of other stuff let's see what's the inside um here's the uh, like the the, uh, all the nozzles uh, for water dipping and also connectors they give the pipes this is for directly connect to the with like putting the waters and this is the main controller pump and it connects to Wi-Fi this is one for uh, water in and one for water out Two steps and it's uh, powered you need to use power also you can use it uh, battery I believe um, I'll show you and but for yes you can use battery but to you need four double batteries one two three four but um, when I read the instructions, like it may, they mentioned, if you need to use Wi Fi, you must have to connect to the power. So, this is and the power is here. Power cord uh, looks like they don't provide any, yes, they don't provide any adapter. So, make sure you need you have adapter. So, that's all. And this is the clip to hang it. So these are the stuff friends um, as i mentioned i purchased it from amazon for 59.99 and so i'm gonna uh, install it and i'll show you the full installation so uh, let's do it so friends uh, as you can see uh, i have this in uh, plants these are not in indoor plants these are for outdoor but uh, it's in right now it's winter time so i brought all these inside in my home and i put it in my basement my basement is unfinished so i don't have any water source uh, so i need uh, some like i will put some uh, bucket of water and it will be um, uh, irrigate to all these plants so that i don't need to come day uh, twice or three times a week and give water to all these plants uh, which is a hassle for me so uh, that's why i'm going to install that system but this system is not for like this on, only for this kind of plants uh, you can use for any indoor plants uh, wherever you need uh, to give uh, water so let's install it so friends um, from the instruction uh, make sure uh, you follow this this one uh, like the height of the pump uh, make sure you maintain that because that's very important and I'm gonna follow this rule like this way I'm gonna uh, put the water so and then I'll install the Wi-Fi 
so friends i just got water uh, i put less water to check whether it sends a message to me or not low water message so i will check that uh, now i'm gonna put the uh, pipes This one is for inlet as I checked from uh, the instructions. So this will go inside this like this. It's going to the pump. I will put some weight so that it will be always under the water. To insert it, maybe you can use some uh, hot water. Uh, so first from the pump, my water will be splitted in two lines. So that's why I'm going to put this. And it's very tight. You need to keep doing it. Or you can use hot water and soap. Uh, to make it easily so since I am in the basement I don't want to go back and forth to make keep the water warm and that's why so it's tight enough and now I'm connecting to the, this one so friends I just made the connection like this and also they provide one filter of uh, this one for the water like water source and that's how I made the network like it is going from one here to here like I make the network like this and also I connected everywhere and I splitted the water from here I splitted the water here and make two lines so based on our, so i connected to almost eight plants so based on your however it is uh, for uh, at your home you connect it make your network now i'm gonna put the battery first then um, turn it on after that i will connect to power and turn the wi-fi on okay so i'm taking it off um, put the batteries four batteries for double a batteries required so i just put everything and so i just put it here so i'm seeing wi-fi bulb is turning on like beeping so let me first press this button so friends you can see water is started flowing you can see 
I just pressed it and water is started flowing and you can see water is going you can see you can see all positions waters are flowing water is flowing also water is flowing here you can see slow it just got off so that was the test run and let's press it it's off so you can turn it on manually and also um by uh like scheduling it so to schedule it i have to turn on the wi-fi so friends i just connect it to the power using the uh, cable uh, usb cable they provide the usb cable but they don't provide the adapter so make sure you notice that they don't provide the adapter which is very bad they should give the adapter because now you have to put some extra money for that so that i don't like so now i'm going to download the app and schedule it but before that i just tested it like it's uh, it works with the power also see the water is flowing okay, let's turn it off So friends, uh, I think you saw the setup. Now I am going to turn on the uh, uh, device from my phone. So I am using another phone to record this video. So this is the switch. Uh, that's like manually if you want to turn it on. So I just pressed it and you saw the water started flowing. You can see that water is flowing. So it gets turned on and you can I am going to turn it off so it turns off so that means Wi-Fi is working and you see Wi-Fi is steady and so Wi-Fi is working now I have to schedule it like how long it should uh, run by itself auto run and all those after scheduling it I have to press here to turn the auto run on and i can turn it off by this so that's the main feature mainly so friend uh, uh the scheduler works like every day after uh, investigation i checked looks like it will uh, turn on every day at 12 a.m night so which is pretty bad uh, schedule uh, like um, bad way to design because um uh looks uh, like i don't want it like uh um like fixed days i cannot do let's say i put one day and 11 hour it says next watering is at one after one day 10 hour 59 minutes so it's like little weird uh scheduling and how long that that is fine which is but the when it should turn on look like based on my current time it will be turned on tomorrow 12 am so this is weird uh, scheduling system which i don't like uh i don't know why they made it like this they can put uh, just a uh, days number of days and uh what time then it should turn on by itself but i don't know this is very bad design i don't like this design that's i should tell other than everything is pretty good and so let me do one more thing one more test um, 
I'm going to take this out uh, from the water. Let's say I take it out from the water and now I'm going to turn it on and see what happens. So looks like there is no water right now. No water is to pass and what it does. I want to see. Does it send? Oh, it sent me a notice that no water. So this is good. So that works. That functionality works if there is no water. So let me turn it off. So it shows me no water. That is very good. That passed. Everything is good other than the scheduling system, which I don't like. Totally, I don't like it. But other than it's fine. So friends, uh, two bad thing I found for this one. One is uh, scheduling from the app, which can be upgradable. Maybe in next release, they will give a nice uh, app. And the second thing is, um, which I don't like is um, the uh, uh, power adapter. Like I have to use my own power adapter, which means which will cost extra money, which why should I do that after spending 60 bucks? So these are the two drawbacks that I found so far. Other than it's a pretty good system. Like it's like water, it's giving water to me and I don't need to be like uh, always keep checking uh, like whether my plants are getting enough water or not. So I like this system other than, every, uh, other than the two drawbacks. So friends, that's all about this. Uh, please let me know how do you like this video and if you have any suggestion any comment please put it in the comment box and uh, if you like this video please uh, like share and subscribe to my channel thank you and have a nice day